weddingpassion.com. Um, this was started back uh, last year, the last startup weekend event. I uh, just want to give you guys a little bit of information about what uh, the market is for what our product is, and I'll describe it a bit more. Uh, in 2009, the total number of weddings was around 2.2 million across the nation. The average amount spent per wedding was 19.5,000. And so, average guests around 128. So a lot of people that we can market to is a large number of uh, potential for growth there. Also, one other thing too, a um, little tie-in, uh, among young adults, 93% of adults aged between 18 and 29 now have a cell phone. So what we do is essentially allowing mobile wedding photography and not necessarily saying that it's mobile as in you can go anywhere and do photos, but in saying that anybody at the event, at the event can take photos and post them online to one album, one location, so that the bride and groom have one album all of the photos from the event, all of the guests upload them instantly, show up in one album, and it's super easy. You can either text in via uh, multimedia text messaging, or you send it in over our iPhone app, or if you have a regular camera, you can upload that on the, uh, the website as well. Um, basically, if you've seen those disposable cameras on tables at the wedding reception, this takes the place of that. By allowing you to use your cell phones, and as your cell phones get better and better cameras, it's uh, inevitably gonna get higher and higher resolution. And so we have an, also have an online slideshow that adds photos seconds after they're uploaded and it, you can display that slideshow at the reception and it'll update instantly as the uh, photos come online and it's a great way to showcase, say you're in Florida and you've got family in uh, Wisconsin or something. It's a great way for them to be a part of the, of the event as well. And uh, from there, our market, um, there's really not a whole lot of competition for what we're doing. There's a couple different uh, places where you can post images, like Photo Bucket, for example. It's one album where you can store photos. The problem is that it's not a multi-user upload system, and uh, the, uh, there's no real-time support. It's just a general photography site. They do have an iPhone app, but it, again, it's separate albums. Facebook, it's a social networking site, limited on the image size, and then you have to be friends with everybody in order to get all the photos and you still have to be tagged in them in order to see which ones are, it's an easier way to find it that way, but it's still a problem. And then Olapic is a wedding targeted photo album, but there's no mobile app, there's no real time support, and there's no real way to upload these images easily. It's, you've got to go home, upload it via your own camera at a later time, and you know, it may or may not be done, and so you may lose those pictures from guests. This allows the threshold to be easily crossed for guests to upload the images instantly. So our revenue streams, um, we sell our product directly to the consumer. Um, we also will be doing white label licensing. Uh, we're gonna be contacting the not.com, David's Bridal, um, to try to license our product out to them, essentially to where um, we do the back end of their product, but then put, put their marketing spin on the product. So it looks like their product, but we're the ones doing it. So they would pay us a fee for that. And also um, utilizing wedding planners and facilities in order to we sell our product as well and do kind of a package deal there. So right now our team, uh, we have a CEO or in the web development side is Nathan McConathy. He's worked at Lexmark, Anderson Consulting, ArcVision, EAS. Uh, Rob Strogen is our inventor in iPhone um, and he's uh, an electrical engineer at General Electric Blackout Labs. Uh, he's actually number 12 or 13 on the iPhone store currently on top hand apps on, with his ringtone designer. And then uh, myself, uh, I do freelance graphic design. I'm pursuing my materials engineering degree um, here in the UK. And uh, we're working together right now to try to build this company up. We've only been around since about November last year. Um, and we're really needing some sales and marketing people to push this further. But uh, that's what it got.